Hiroshi Kinoshita, from the Okayama Folklore Society, came across an intriguing object while researching Kiyoaki Sato, a Japanese natural historian who studied mysterious creatures. The dried mermaid had been preserved in a box at a temple in Okayama Prefecture, in the southern part of Japan's Honshu Island, but until now, its exact origins remained unknown. It measures 30 centimeters long and with a tail and hands raised to its screaming face. The dried mermaid was said to have been kept by a family and then passed to another before it was eventually acquired by a temple, which put it on display some four decades ago. The head priest at the temple said they had worshipped it, hoping that it would help alleviate the coronavirus pandemic even if only slightly. I hope the research project can leave records for future generations. A historic letter dated to 1903, apparently penned by a former owner, was stored alongside the mummy and gives a story about its provenance. The mermaid was caught in a fish-catching net in the sea off Kochi Prefecture, the letter states. The fisherman who caught it did not know it was a mermaid but took it to Osaka and sold it as an unusual fish. My ancestors bought it and kept it as a family treasure. Nothing was found to corroborate this account and it's unclear how or when the mummy came to Enjuin Temple in Asakuchi. Scientists suspected it was really the tail end of a fish grafted onto the upper body of a primate and sent the artifact for CT scanning to reveal the truth. The end results surprised them. Most of the upper body was actually made from cloth, paper, and cotton, though pufferfish skin was used on the arms, shoulders, neck, and cheeks. The creature's hair is mammalian in origin, its nails were made from animal keratin, and the jaws were taken from an unknown carnivorous fish. No internal skeleton was detected, but there are metal needles in the back of the neck and lower body. The bottom half, meanwhile, was manufactured with scales from a croaker fish. Sand and charcoal powder mixed in a paste-like substance was used to paint the body surface. Kurashiki University of Science and the Arts concluded that the creature was manufactured. Hiroshi Kinoshida said the artifact was likely created to cash in on the Japanese fascination with mermaids. So much content was created, including stories, pictures and legends, he said. Mermaid mummies were probably made in various parts of Japan as a spectacle or for export to foreign countries. There were groups and technicians in Japan at the time who had the skills to make these elaborate mummies. Japanese mermaids have a legend of immortality. It is said that if you eat the flesh of a mermaid, you will never die. There is a legend in many parts of Japan that a woman accidentally ate the flesh of a mermaid and lived for 800 years. This Yao Bikuni legend is also preserved near the temple where the mermaid mummy was found. Some people, believing in the legend, used to eat the scales of mermaid mummies. Kinoshida initially suspected the artifact was manufactured at some point during the Edo period, an era of Japanese history stretching from 1603 to 1867. The new study, Carbon dated some of the detached scales to the late 1800s. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.